Hi, my name is Pascal Doucet, Vice President of Sales for Doucet Machinery. Today, we're going to make a demonstration around the Retex, our new intelligent return conveyor system. The Retex working cell is including different parts of the equipment to make sure the cell works good. The first one is the receiving belt. Receiving belt is controlled in speed, matched with the bander. The first belt is wider for a speed as narrow as two inches wide, so it will stand only on, the, on one the first belt only. So that, and we match the speed based on the size of the part to stop the piece under the head axis. The second part is the return belt where the part would be released from the manipulator. The manipulator in itself, it has a 140 inch horizontal axis driven by servo motors. We have a 40 inch vertical axis driven by servo motor as well. And same thing for the rotation, which is included in the bottom of the head. We can do a 270 degree rotation head. And the reason for this is to orient the piece on the next passes for the operator at the front end. By doing this, uh, you mean when the piece is done also, we could stack the piece for passing through. When we're doing this, the, when a piece is complete, it's not returning to the operator. And by not returning, mean the operator can enter a new piece in and it will be doing more piece at the end of the day. Another way to use the Ritex cell also would be to integrate part back to the cell. So instead of stacking to my left, we can put an incoming part of stack and then we can destack the part to the return bell and all the finished pieces goes down and exit to the pass-through line. Meaning the manipulator can dictate the pace of the operator a little bit more. You're gonna have seven or eight pieces in the loop and that one piece goes out, another piece comes in. What the operator is only matching and making sure the tapes are doing well located. The Ritex Gen 3 cell is made to operate at the rate of 12 pieces a minute when we're doing a return and rotation only. When you are stacking, the, 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 the frequency could be low, as low as seven pieces a minute, depending how high is the stack on the other side. So if we need a longer vertical stroke, it may take a longer, a longer time, but if not, it could be as quick as possible as the other one. When we're doing a, a longer pieces like we just did, the rotation cycle is slowed down due to the size of the pieces. Here we are, the main operator console. We have, uh, on the left side, we have what the pattern will be for the Retix as you're going through. On the right side, we have the different mode, like uh, a batch mode or a unique piece mode. Uh, we can have a manual mode as well. And you can adjust some parameter from the edge banner. And here is your third position, like if you have a skid or you'll be in destacking mode. If I want to change my sequence, I can go to my program mode and here, for example, I'm seeing that pass number one, I'm going to do a 180, pass number two, a 90, 180 again, and then send it to stacking. If I was doing a pass through, I can change it and then save. Each button color here, so I'm just going to go back. So each, each button color, and when I go to the main screen, they are referring to the same manual console that the operator is going to have closed by him. So basically, each pass number means something based on the bottom. Still at the, at the loading position on the Retex. Uh, what is important for the Retex is to estimate roughly the piece dimension. Why we need the piece dimension is because the head's going to locate roughly over the center of the piece before doing the operation. To estimate in that length direction, we have a photo, certain number of photo I that will reach uh, estimate to locate the head properly in, the, in, in this axis. When the piece is over four foot, we just say it's over four, it's locating at a maximum around four foot position. Plus it will also tell the system to rotate a bit slower during the rotation motion. In the other axis, as we know the speed of the bender, we have a fixed point sensor. We, we will estimate the other direction and locate the part under the head at the exit conveyor. On, uh, on this bender here, we have a stopper that's going up and down, activated by air. So what we do when we install the Ritex, we also overriding that signal. 
Sometimes we may need a longer time to give to make a comment that Arith is, is asking. So we override that signal in most of the system. So another section of the Arithic system is the R table. So coming out from the belt, uh, the, we receive the part on an air table. This one can lift up and down. So it's easier for the operator to reintegrate the part into the bander.